Hey guys, I got some big news for you guys. Big news, big news. I'm only, I'm only uh, 17 here, and uh, I got some big news. Very big news. Uh, I'm actually starting. I, uh, I'm gonna just take out the beer now. I'll show you myself. I'm trying to get my lamp over here. As you can see, I actually shaved. It was my uh, second time shaving in my life. I started shaving on... I kind of like to say... Yeah, Wednesday. I started shaving on Wednesday, and then I shaved again last night. So I'm going to be wearing this beard, hopefully, in about three weeks. Three weeks, the, the real beard will be coming in. And a friend of mine told me, a friend of mine told me that the, like, a, a, a full length of a beard, like an actual beard, beard, like once you start shaving, it starts growing. So I was actually hoping to get the beard, hopefully by the end of April, April, before April 29th, I would have the full grown beard and hopefully my hair will grow out back to its normal long size so i won't be wearing this fake beard for a long long until the beard until my actual beard grows in so um so how's things going with you guys i know it's been a while since i've been on vacation these last couple days hey so uh, speaking of vacation i'm planning on making a trip to the one to the uh washington dc to uh washington in DC to uh, take some photos and do a, do a video on my trip. Trip, uh, don't worry, I will be making videos videos on the trip. So I will be working since who wants to sit in a car for six hours? It's going to be my second time going to DC. It was fun the first time. I didn't know what to expect. Uh, the last time I checked, I went to the Marine Corps Museum. If you ever watched my uh, Sabine Ren X Josh Bengal Bengal video that I made, I, some of the shots were taken of myself were taken in the car trip on the way to DC, and another one, another photo was me behind a old World War II Marine Corps aircraft aircraft, and it made me look like Bunny So uh, I recommend you check that video out. Okay, so I got some big news in for the book, and I just got done typing uh, chapter 11 and 12 and the rest of 10. I've been busy working the last couple of days, so I hadn't got a chance to been doing any typing. So unfortunately, the library is closed on uh, Sunday because one tomorrow is Easter, Easter, so it's closed all day today. That day, so on Monday I have something big planned. Planned. Uh, also, uh, since tomorrow's April Fool's Day, April Fool's Day, I want you guys in the comments below leave me your favorite prank that you ever did on somebody. Leave a comment below, and I'll do a shout out to you guys. 
Now, uh, Princess Hera, uh, Princess Hera is uh, starting a uh, live stream, so I'm actually hoping by then I would actually have a live stream. <clears throat> Hopefully by then I will have a live stream by then. Then I really want to do live streaming. It depends on how I do it. I do have a way on how I'm going to do it, but I'm not going to tell you. Tell you, but also I did release Captain America's. Uh, Oh, wait, I didn't upload the sh how I made the shield because it was 15 minutes and 7 seconds. So I got to do some trimming on that. Yeah, but part 2 will be happening. I can show you when I get done done in the video. If you guys haven't seen the video, I'm going to teach you guys how to make your own. I finally got the shape that I need for a shield. Shield, that's all I was looking for is the shape of the shield. I'll go get the JT Radio Shield and see if you guys can tell the difference. Difference. So this is the JT Radio Shield. This is the closest. I this was the original. I had to trim it down a little. So this is the original. I will tell you how to make your own JT Radio Shield in time. In time, but uh, that's not going to be important. Important right now. So uh, this shield is pretty much the same as my original original shields. It's something different that I've done with my gauntlets. My Mandalorian gauntlets that I made, uh, as you can see, these are my snow leopard gaunt. This is my snow leopard gauntlet. The other one I used used the other cup cup for it. But this was my snow leopard's gauntlet. It had a picture of Tai Long on it. On it, so uh, I'm gonna put this on on, and uh, it should be that it's not that hard. Hard to put it in, but. Mm, well, either way, I already made the second one. I already made the second shield, so I can't go get it right now because it's so far away and I don't feel like grabbing it. Okay, so I uh, also, uh, Monday, I will be talking again on Monday. Also, uh, JT Radio has something big and planned on the 8th, 8th because that's when JT Radio is officially turning two years old. Officially two years old because we JT Radio started in 2016 when I brought my Kindle, which I'm recording off to this device. When I brought it first, brought it into weight room into the weight room when I played football. I was always the first one in the weight room, first one dressed, first first one on the field, first one off the field. Get changed, get into the weight room. It it, it, it was fun. Unfortunately, nobody. The guys really. The guys that I my football mates actually enjoyed the music for the first time. I had One Direction. I actually still have the playlist. Playlist. So my boss, Dark Saber Fifteen. So uh, he has the playlist. Just search up JT Radio Season One. Season One. That was the first season, and that's when JT Radio's channel actually started. Started in the first CD. In this, the first CD came out before. Before the channel, so the JT Radio Season One is turned at least about two years old. It was it was given to the weight room by on January, so a little a little gift for them. I'm also giving away free copies if you guys want a copy, copy or you guys can just check out the playlist. Playlist is that I made. I also a uh, big JT Radio news, so I'll be right back. This is going to be a two-part video. If I can't explain everything, this is going to be a two-part video. Right now, so I was going through my Bengals bag, and also through my original stuff. I was going through my school supplies. But it's back in the old days, and something I discovered very interesting. Interesting. I found my original scripts. I found my original scripts. I was going through my stuff. I found my. I found these. Unfortunately, it says Josh's diary, but this was my diary when I had in middle school, and this was when I first started writing the books. I think I still have the paper in here. Hopefully, the paper is still in here. Whoops. Um. Yeah, I did have a lot of guys. And uh, this was in middle school. I was like one of the most popular kids in school. If you're one of the students that are watching this video that went to my school, you're probably like, Josh, you weren't the most popular kid in school. But that was in middle school, so... I gotta see if I can find a paper. 
paper. So, um, so my original book was called. I had I was brainstorming ideas at the time, but I finally in the final script for the book, I figured out what happened. Oh, here they are. Here's the final. Here are the final scripts. Here are the final scripts. Uh, the cut scripts. These are the cut scripts that I wrote. I wasn't able to put in the final book, but I'm going to read them to you. You. Uh, in the original book, in chapters one through seven, uh, the original script that I wrote it in, Jackal, uh, Dane Lesko. If if you guys know Dane Lesko, he's a friend of mine. Friend of mine. And uh, so what happened is that I was writing out the book. I was writing out the book, and uh, me and Dark were typing out the book, and uh, we were looking at the original script and making sure we got everything right and make some changes if we needed to. And guess what? Dane Lesko's book. Actually, I still have the first page. Yeah, I still have the first page. Oops. Aha! Uh -huh. Bingo! Bingo! So, I have the first copy of the script. So, I'm going to read it to you. And it says, unfortunately, this is a little teaser for the book. So, the sign says, remember the names with the song, remember the name. Some of the names were Dylan Furlick, Gabe Nish, James Dimas, Gabe Shivanese, Rish Rishi Patel, Elizabeth Sudam, and Josh Thomas Sully. Sully, those were the people who died. But in the original script, I added Dane Lesko. I added Dane Lesko to the script. In the original script. So I found what I knew. Now I figured out what, I, what was going to happen with Lesko. Let's go. This was one of my earlier scripts. I'm going to read to you. So, could Let's Go be a bad guy? And also, I found some of the... In my other book, I actually found some of the original names. And let me get that up. Okay. So, these were the names. I'm going to read you the names from the original script. This shouldn't take long. Um, and this is going to happen in my book. This some, some of the names that I'm taking from my book, my my original script, script is going to be in the book. So listen carefully. Okay. Unfortunately, like I said, my handwriting was terribly stupid back in the day. So I'm going to start reading. Okay. So I got only got two minutes. Uh, Captain Pittsburgh, Jack Gillespie, aka Jack Gillespie. Sergeant Fire for short. Dylan Froelich. Actually, no, it's Sergeant Snake Fire. So that's Dylan Froelich. Iron Sword, Austin Vitello. Quick Cheetah, Max, Max Patrick. He's an old friend of mine. Iron, uh, Iron Lion and Dr. Lion. And uh, Kyle Hewitt and Jake Hewitt. Silent Sloth, Dane Lesko. So that is his name in the book. Look, I will continue this in a other in part two. So uh, I will see you guys all in part two in a few moments. Bye.